I want to see the children of the poor flourishing. Why? Because I come from there. I'm a child of a domestic worker. My mother suffered epilepsy. She couldn't do anything for me. People identified me, gave me an opportunity, and they said, there's a potential in this young man. I don't have anything. I have nothing to offer. I can't build a school. But with this leadership and you, we can realize a dream of changing a life of the hopeless masses of our people. We stayed in a shack. We slept without food. When she came out of a bus, my mother had a scar here. She burned, she, she burned when she was working for whites in the domestic there in town there. When she comes out of a bus, I used to run to her because I had hoped she came back with some leftovers. And the white man wants to tell me how to live my life and tell me that I don't know what poverty does to people. I know what poverty does to people. That's why we must help our people. And we don't care how many people we must help whether it's one, whether it's two, I know it's possible we can change their lives. My life to change because someone else said we can change the life of this young man. I went to my township there, I said to my principal, I want three kids who come from the shakes and I don't want them to come from proper shakes, you know, the shakes with a proper a mazenge is... Uh, I want the, the ones that, you know, the rain, when it rains, it goes through. I want them to be pilots. And then we searched for them. The EFF Legacy Project showed you here. We, are, we, we took them to become pilots from sheikhs. And I said to them, I don't want you to join the EFF or vote for the EFF. If you do that, you can do that on your own. But I want you, when you become pilots, to finance other pilots who come from the same background that you come from. So I don't understand why Vodacom can't build a school. I mean, they are monopolizing the network, the data, Comrade Kiro. I don't understand why MTN can't build a school strictly for the most poor people for the people that are hopeless and they were told by their teachers you are nothing else you are going to end here like those who came before you in your family you are not going anywhere this is your end those are the people we must go and identify and help them I tell you my history not because I want you to pity me. I don't want any favor from anyone. I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. This story I'm telling you is not my story alone. It is our story, all of us in this hall. It's a story of a black child. We've all gone through that. So it shouldn't be easy to align with people who want to destroy a black child if you know where black children come from.